We all learn that atoms are the building blocks of our universe. Then we zoom into that atom and find that it is made up of protons and neutrons. Then we go even deeper and find quarks. Now quarks are supposed to be the fundamental constituent of matter, but then a new hypothesis came along that if we dig in even deeper, we find that these particles are formed of tiny filaments of energy called strings. These strings vibrate in different ways, giving us elementary particles like quarks or gluons. Our entire universe is made of trillions of the strings, oscillating everywhere around us and also inside us. This theory is called the string theory. You may wonder what is the need for string theory. Now our universe is held together by four fundamental forces. We study the large-scale universe based on the theory of relativity, which explains the force of gravity and the curvature of space-time fabric, and quantum mechanics, which deals with tiny microscopic structures which work by their own rules. Now you may think that both large-scale and small-scale worlds would have similar laws, but our physics doesn't work that way. When physicists tried combining these two theories, their mathematics broke. Since then, physicists around the globe are trying to come up with a way to combine both these contradicting theories to form a single theory that explains everything and one of them is the string theory but it doesn't end here string theory itself has many different branches one of them is the super string theory whose mathematics works now it suggests that there are six more dimensions apart from the three dimensions that we know but how will that work this is earth as seen from a far off distance now it's a dot it's mathematically zero dimensions now let's zoom into it we can see that it has some length and breadth making it two dimensional let's get even closer we can see that it's a sphere it's three dimensional the the closer we get to it, the higher is the number of dimensions. If we could see deeper into the quarks, we will find that these extra dimensions are twisted and curled into a complex shape as described in the Kaluza Klein theory. This shape is called the Kalabi Yao manifold. This is where the strings vibrate, forming everything around us. This shape has its own different models, each depicting a different universe. But which one of them shows our universe? Let's do a thought experiment. This is the 2D world. Now imagine this triangle taking a swirl up into the third dimension. For this other triangle, the first triangle just vanishes away for a second and there is no such thing as a third dimension. It is the same with subatomic particles when they move into the four dimensions. If other than four space-time dimensions, we just have one extra dimension, it would result in tremendous consequences like electromagnetism. So, is there a way to test these dimensions? There is. If we calculate the amount of energy before and after particles collide in the LHC and compare them and there is less energy after the collision than before, then that means that the energy has drifted away into the other dimensions. Obvious, right? Now we understand that string theory is a candidate for the theory of everything. But how do these tiny strings combine everything? Bring your attention to the following products. Now it doesn't seem like there is anything common with them, but when you research a little, you see that all of these things are formed of the same thing, that's milk. The same way, string theory gives us a common ground to work on all these subatomic particles and forces. So you start with the Kaluza Klein theory, add vibrating strings, add exactly right extra special dimensions and supersymmetry, and you get the string theory. It may be incomplete or wrong, but it could also be the magical early steps into a deeper understanding of space-time.